Okay, I have got everything set up. Let's do a run through and make some candles. Okay, we've got some wax warming up. And one thing I didn't know, realize before, um, this actually has a thermometer or a number in it to set that to. So when I was looking at it with the power off, I was like, Ugh. you know, I'm used to having printed, but it actually does have the digital setting. So that's good. Um, it doesn't tell me what temperature to set the wax at, but um, at least um, it does have something. So I'm keeping it low. I'm going to go low and slow. And then as a backup, I've got my, my handy dandy, the way I do things over here. <laughs> so get that melted down. So the instructions say, attach wick to the bottom of the candle jar, then put wick clip through the wick to fix it. Turn on the electric stove and pour soy wax into the pot. You can also put dye into the stirring, and I garbled that up. You can also put the dye in and do the stirring together until they are completely melted. At 125 to 140, add essential oils and stir. Pour the melted wax into the candle jar. Note that the wax is very hot. Please wear gloves to operate. You can also wait for the wax to cool for a few minutes before operating. Wait for the wax to solidify, then put in the dried flowers. And put the flowers away from the wick. And that is the extent of the instructions. Mm -hmm. So, okay, well, well, we'll go with it. Earlier when I was working with another brand, I commented that the tea tree oil had no resemblance to what we know as tree, tea tree oil um, in essential oils. And, um, and this one came in a box, so I'm looking at the picture and I recognize that as green tea. So I could be wrong, but that's how I see it. I, that looks like green tr a green tree plant to me. So I think this is one where it was just lost in translation. Um, now with this one, I can't say it smells like tea either, but, um, you know, let's, let's see how it comes out in the fragrance. Um, but I'm used to working with actual natural fragrances, not, um, fragrant. Well, boy. Oh, that says a hundred percent essential oil. Hmm. Well, I can't speak for that, but I can at least say I believe that's why this doesn't smell like tea tree um, essential oil, because it's a different tea plant they were referring to. <laughs> Once you have it, the kit, there is a QR code here that you can watch their video instructions, which is um, a lot prettier than my setup here. But um, they still don't tell you how much of, of what ratio of oil to put to the wax. So, 
but there's that. Okay, I decided I'm gonna do um, the green dye with the mint oil into the green jar. And this is the green dye. Um, I hope that has some magic that turns green. <laughs> so, but that's what that's what you get per color. And I've decided I'm going to use the blue vessel with the blue dye or the cayenne cyan blah, 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 blue <laughs> um, with vanilla. There's three different uh, blues in here, and um, so they each have their own name. So I'm using the, I never knew if that's cyan or cayenne or, I just know the visual part of the word. I know what it means, but I just don't know how you pronounce it. I guess I could Google that too. Oh, I like that. Now if the uh, wax comes out anywhere near that would be fabulous, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I like that, so I'm going to put that in the pot and let that melt in. Okay, it's a little too hot for the fragrance. So let that come down a bit. And it's still doing nothing. Okay, I have my gloves on, kids. Oh, it's starting to melt. Alright, this is slower than I'm used to, but gas stove, uh, actual wax warmer? Okay, it's probably supposed to be slower. <laughs> okay, with that set of you. Okay, that is coming in within our range. So, again, I still don't really know how much I'm supposed to add, but um, I thought I was adding a lot to the other round I did, and it turns out there was no scent throw off of this, that other brand of um, candle kit I did. So, I'm going to go heavy on this one. Well, I used a whole bag of wax, so I saw on one of the instructions, I'm not sure if it was this one or a different one, but it said to put a whole bottle per bag of, well, so um, I'm going to do it and see what happens. And uh, I did try to find what, um, well, I didn't, I didn't pull Amazon up again, but I to look at the description, but I looked at their instructions the kit came with. And I uh, did the QR code, watched their video, and nothing says how much fragrance oil to use. It just tells you what temperature to add it at. So I'm going to stop there because I want to do one of these two. So if you, so it looks like, so that was one bag of wax, one bottle of fragrance oil, one pack of colorant, and that gave us uh, two candles, but with a lot of, one glass one, tin, with a lot of head space on both of them. I know some people like their candles that way. Um, Oh, hold on, I have a whiny doggy. What you need, Rox? 
continue time. So I was suspect of that green dye because it wasn't green at all and the poured wax is not green at all. So um, maybe it's magic that turns green as it solidifies? I don't know. But anyway, that's... Um, I, I think maybe the wrong color got put into the box or something. So we'll just move on. Okay, and this is the orange dye pack. <laughs> maybe if I could get it out. Now for being, this is supposed to color this. That seems pretty light to me, but I will um, do it and see what happens. And I've decided I'm, I have um, another vessel that did not come in the kit. I'm going to do the orange in. Um, so I picked um, the soup bowl, picked up the soup bowl, and I want to play with that. And so I'm going to do an orange layer in there. And But I'll show you how the coloring turns out. There is no color coming off of these color blocks. I mean, usually as they melt, I could see like, you know, the trail of color and it'll like start tinting the wax. I'm getting nothing so far. So I'm going to actually just throw in the other shades of blue and see if I can get something out of it. There is the progress of the green so far. That kind of is looking a little greenish on the camera because it's picking up the color off of the vessel. But that was the same wax right there in a tin, and that is still white. And that had the whole block of green in it. I got orange in this one, and it's kind of looking yellowish, but um, the wax kind of is looking yellowish when it's fully melted. So, uh, at least in this over here it is. I mean, I guess there's a slight tint to it, maybe, but um, and it's like these are not really wanting to melt either. Okay, this is I, I'm finding this a bit ridiculous. Um, so, okay, this is the blue, which is kind of a light, very light, translucent almost to me, and that's supposed to die the candle wax. Um, I'm going to put it in, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. So, and <laughs> light blue. That, okay, this is ridiculous. I'm going to put it in because I have it, but mm -mm, I just don't, don't believe that. All right, we'll see what those do. Okay, got the orange completely melted, and that's what we've got. No change, it's still just a barely a tint. And this is the yellow. I kind of got a thing here. Very light coloring. Um, this one, I'm going to put it in first because I'm having a hard time getting these to melt in. So I'm going to get this going and then add the soy. Okay, finally those blue blocks melted. This is what we got out of three block, color blocks of, of the blue. So I used these up and that's it. So, and this is the yellow. You got barely a tint of yellow there. So that's what that is. Yeah, this needs a pour spout on it because there's no pour spout and it just goes everywhere when I pour it. Mm -hmm. um, so that doesn't make very clean candles, but 
had a lot of headspace on the glass one and you know could have did a little more on the little more headspace on the little one but it's okay Okay, and this is what we get out of the purples. I'm gonna put both of them in together into the next batch and I'm not expecting anything now. Okay, and that's the Vibrance Color Bell. Okay, so I'm gonna use, there's two pinks and a red. I'm gonna put them all together and for the next one and with the rose fragrance and hope I get some sort of color out of them. We keep getting messier and messier here. <laughs> anyway, here's the um, purple, how that turned out. And it's still a little, the color block. I actually put the color blocks in first to melt and I thought they were melted far enough, but once I added in the wax, that it just didn't continue to melt. But it's just um, a few flecks left. So I think that might add some character to the candle itself. So I'm just gonna leave those because I kinda like that. I've already mixed the fragrance. I'm going, I put eucalyptus in with this one. So that's gonna be the top of my um, soup bowl candle. Okay, so the soup bowl I got out of the, it's a seasonal, it's a Christmas, it's Christmas, I can't turn it and show you right now, but it has Christmas trees on it. Um, it's a seasonal thing at Walmart. Um, I don't know, it's just called a soup bowl. Um, it was like $3. And I thought if it's, if it can handle the heat of stew or soup, then in a microwave and everything, it should be able to handle a candle. So I'm not promoting this. I'm just, I, I got it to try for myself. So I'm just sharing along the process that I'm making this candle. Um, but I'm using the products that came in the kit in here. So, um, okay. So I have, um, the reds are still melting. So um, look at those. I need to get this wrapped up pretty quick. The instructions say to let the candle solidify before you add any of the flowering, but um, I don't listen, so I'm gonna. I poured it a few minutes ago, so it's starting to kind of get a film on top, but it's not quite set. And so, um, 
even though I put eucalyptus scent in there, I'm gonna put some lavender on top just to um, I don't like I don't like the idea of them being loose on there, which would be which is what you get when you let it solidify. So I just wanna embed a few for and of course you always um, burn your candles under supervision, not while you're sleeping and all that yada yada. So if there is any fire issue with it, you are there to stop it. Okay, so I don't want to overdo it, but set that there and I can see they're kind of sinking in just a little bit, just enough to be, to stay. So. And this is the brown. It's got a kind of a, pur looks more purple, kind of a purpley brown to me, but uh, okay, well, that's that. This is what we got for brown. And I put apple cinnamon for the scent. I actually, um, I gave up on the warmer. Um, I'm used to using this. That's what I've been using for a couple of years on making my own candles. So to me, it's just easier. And I've got the pour spout, so I can aim a lot better. Okay, well. That's brown for you. Okay, so we have used up all of the color blocks, and um, this is the last bag of wax. And so I thought, um, since I've been so not impressed with the color blocks in this set anyway, and besides I've used them all, um, I have this out of, um, this is a mica, which is a very popular way to color soaps and candles and um, mineral makeup and such. And so um, this is another one where there's no real how much to use, but I put the green tea scent in here, or which they call tea tree. So I'm just going to do this. It's um, do this green powder just to see if this comes out better and um, at least you know if nothing else a little different look at that shimmer oh I love that shimmer I don't know if it'll hold when it's set but oh I love it oh my goodness so wow I'm just going to put a dot on the paper towel to see what we have for color. So that's not real, real dark. It's, um, I'm going to go a little more for some deeper color. A little more. I mean, when you're using mica, you do use a lot of it, but, um, usually the micas I buy are natural mineral micas. Or, um, or although this one um, I bought in a kit um, and I'll see I'll, I'll show you the kit in a moment or maybe in, either in the corner or following this I'll pop it in there um, but so this came in a kit and on the bottle it says natural and synthetic micas so um, I wouldn't what if I was making makeup I wouldn't put it in there because of the synthetics but um, for candles um, I don't know let's give it a try that's not yet on that one so this is the last of the um, vessels that came with the kit and then um, remember I also filled up that big soup bowl out of wax that came from this kit. So you get quite a bit of wax 
Um, and the vessels, um, I could have filled up a little more than what I did. Um, but when I was doing it, I was trying to just do mix up one bag at a time just to see, um, you know, how that went. But um, I think it would be better used to measure out and make one candle at a time rather than trying to make it by bag per bag because you come up short on that like that. So this actually is a container from a different set, but I, I grabbed out of there just to pour the extra in because I thought I thought I might have more than this, but so this is like one bag of wax. So when you're looking at how many bags of wax, um, it is a lot, this kit does have a lot more than others do. However, that doesn't go real far. So, um, just keep that in mind, but I'm going to put, yeah, I'll show you that mica kit and I'll put the link to it. Um, I was rather, I was actually ple pleasantly surprised with that when I received that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Well, I guess I'll let these sit and um, we'll come back and see what these look like um, once they are set up. We'll get a close up of these too. see that shimmer in there. Oh, it's kind of doing a, let's see if I can take that up. It's kind of making its own pattern. Oops. Okay. So be, I'm curious to see how that sets because I've never, um, I tried this a uh, couple out, not this color, I used a different color and a different candle few hours ago. I'm still waiting on that to set too. So, um, anyway, that's, um, I'll just review again. So this pink is what I got by using all three of these colors. Um, the pinks and the red in those two candles with one bag of wax. This one is supposed to be blue. I put those three blues in for those two candles, one bag of wax. This is supposed to be green. I only had one green. That is supposed to be brown in it. And that does have a slight brown tint. I also put the apple cinnamon um, fragrant in it. And uh, I can't show you the layers on this one. This, um, this container was, I bought that at Walmart separately, but I used the wax out of this kit and the wicks out of this kit. Um, and the colorants and the um, all of these. So I have a layer of orange, a layer of yellow, and the top layer is purple with both purples in there. And then I put some lavender buds on top. And then I still have these that I didn't use. And um, the stickers that came with it, I'm probably not gonna use on the candles, but I um, this container, is out of a different kit as that one is, same kit. Um, I found that the stickers that came in this kit fit perfectly on here. And um, so the lavender that was left over, I decided to store in here. And I will probably use more and store these two, in each in their own container. Um, although I'm hesitant to open them because um, the lavender is actually very fragrant and I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, the fragrant oils I'm not impressed with at all. The color bars I am not impressed with at all. The wax heater. If you want to make one candle at a time, and I mean a small candle, one at a time and you're in no hurry, it's eh, okay. I much prefer my hokey little setup. <laughs> it's not hokey, but um, like I said these are. I think the first one I ever bought was six bucks at Hobby Lobby. Now I buy them for like two bucks or three bucks on Tamu, and I have stock, huge stock of these somewhere, um, somewhere <laughs> at home. <laughs> so goofy. Um, so my big problem with this, well, besides it's, it's slow, 
which you know is safer but I'm um, slow but when you go to pour it there is no pour spout on here and it's just it's really flimsy and um, which is okay I mean you don't need heavy duty to pour wax out of but it's I don't know I just don't care for that uh, set up at all where with this and pardon I haven't cleaned up yet but it's um, you know metal and it sits right on there and you can control you know the heat by controlling the flame or heat or if you have electric you know whatever that way and you got pour spouts on both sides so if you're left-handed or right-handed or pouring this way or that way you're covered and um, it cleans up easy too because basically I just turn the heat back on and melt it all down and pour it off and wipe it out with paper towel and we're all good so um, so we'll come back a little later um, after these have set and just to have a look and um, this one this one's got some um, I think they call that pitting and that is technique of pouring um, not pouring at the right temperature usually so that's my bad uh, rather than the product and I um, that's that actually is a common thing and um, that gets fixed with a heat gun and so I might come back and demonstrate I don't know I'm, I'm really short on time but um, if, if I have time a minute to squeeze in with a heat gun after after these have finished setting then I'll, I'll do that but otherwise I will try to um, I'll link one in the description in case you want to add one to your set okay um so I just uh, corrected I used the heat gun and um, to remelt this to try to fix that pit and I forgot to hit record while I was doing so <laughs> but um, and then also this one had oh there's still a little bit there so in the pour I had gotten some up there so this is a heat gun and this is actually my first time using it so um, but I'll put you in place Pro candle makers use these to make corrections. Let's see how the other ones. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. It's okay, but if you wanted a more smooth look, you could um, hit that and um, kind of liquefy it and get it smooth. set up and see how well they correct. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, this is the bag of micas I got off of Timu. And I knew I ordered a big set, but this was a lot more than I expected it to be. There's a great variety of colors in here, a good amount to play with. And of course they have different, um, a lot of different options. So that's what it is. And I have used it uh, a little bit and it's been great so far for coloring soaps and candles. 
All right, thank you for watching. I'm glad you were here. If you watched to the very end, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so please like and subscribe if you decide to order this kit. Um, please use my link below. And if you decide not to order it, you want to look at something else, please use my link below and then click out from there because that will still help uh, support what I'm doing. Um, at least, yeah, through the Amazon and Tamu. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.